Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the given arbitrary function f. So, in this given expression, the number of arbitrary function present is 1 and that is the function f. So, we are going to use the first order derivative, partial derivative dou z by dou x which is named as p and dou z by dou y which is named as q. Only these two to eliminate the arbitrary function. Let us take this as the first expression and we are going to differentiate this one partially with respect to x. So, it will be dou z by dou x equal to x derivative is 1. Since we do partial derivative with respect to x, y is treated as a constant and f derivative is f dash and inner function is written as it is and derivative of this inner function here y is constant and x derivative is 1. So, the constant is written as it is and x derivative is 1. So, by rearranging this, this is p and let us take this 1 to the other side. So, p minus 1 equal to f dash of x y into y. This is our second expression. On the same way, let us differentiate the 1 partially with respect to y. Now, z will become dou z by dou y and on the other side x derivative is 0, y derivative is 1 and f derivative is as usual f dash of x y. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, x is treated as a constant. So, as per the chain rule, the derivative of x y is the constant is written as it is and y derivative is 1. Again, rearranging this, q minus 1 equal to f dash of x y into x. This is our third expression and we are going to divide the second expression by third expression. So, this will be p minus 1 by q minus 1 equal to and f dash term gets cancelled in both the sides and the left out is y by x. Now, we are going to cross multiply this. So, p minus 1 into x equal to q minus 1 into y. Let us expand this because we need to rearrange finally in this form of capital P small p plus capital Q small q equal to r. So, we are going to expand this. So, p x minus x equal to q y minus y. So, first we have to write the p term. So, let us write p x as x into p and q term we have to bring it to this side. So, minus y q and this x I have to take to the other side. So, this will become x and minus y is written as it is. So, this is of the form capital P small p plus capital Q small q equal to r. So, this is our required partial differential equation after eliminating the arbitrary function f.